Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome back to some Let's Play EU4 as Croatia! I am back from my holiday break. It's been some time since I played some EU4 here, but I was trying to take it easy and of course, you know, visiting family and things for the holidays, uh, but keeping it low-key because of all the stupid bullcrap going on in the world. Ugh, man oh man, am I gonna be happy when things get back to normal. But speaking of normality, let's play some EU4. We are Revolutionary Croatia, it is the year 1778. We don't have a lot to go before the end of the game. Uh, depending on the speed of things, it might be this episode, it might be the next one. I would be surprised if it went three, although I suppose if a big war broke out, it could be something like that. I'm not sure. I did go and spend a bit of money right before the start. Um, I, I did decide to just randomly build a few, um, a few, what did they call them? Uh, like the manufacturers over here, just because there were some very profitable ones, even though they'll never pay out before the end of the game. I was like, I want to push some buttons. Uh, and then the other thing I did is build some more things that would raise our manpower, because that actually might be kind of useful. We are currently fairly overextended over here, and none of this is about to tick for a little while, so it'll be interesting to see exactly how it goes. Our governing capacity is well above limits. I wonder if we can hit the button over here. Indeed, we can. Um, although there are actually more just regular government changes we can imp uh wow there's a lot i'm actually quite surprised okay maybe i won't go and increase our governing capacity we'll see all right so we've got things unpaused we've got this army moving over here to stop some rebels this army is on a boat waiting to stop some rebels over here i believe Mm -hmm. Peasants spread the revolution. Uh-huh, we'll see. England's no longer a valid rival for me. Lisboa's done. That's okay. So we don't have enough rivals. Okay, but I can pick England again. Okay, game. So presumably we got more, we eclipsed England, and then we've got it right back. Or something like that. Uh, we've converted things. That's good. We've got an election coming up. Let's see here. So currently we got this 114. Our Republican tradition is pretty good. I don't mind spending a few more points on things. Uh, we are currently working through offensive and influence ideas, although influence is coming along pretty well. Offensive a little further away. I think I like the idea of continuing with a martial leader, and I think I'm going to go ahead and keep him and call that hopefully good enough. Let's do, that's quite expensive, but we'll go ahead and keep up with the conversions. That's going to be fine. Trade company investments. Yeah, there's tons of things that can be built. We're not going to worry too much about too many things. Uh, English Columbia wishes that we support their independence. I'm going to say yes, which probably means they're going to trigger an independence war here. But you know what? We'll just deal with it. We'll be fine. Okay, you are actually drilling over here, which is interesting. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Oh, and you did land. Excellent. Uh, let's go and do that. We're going to leave some troops behind over here for some rebel busting in this area, but not the full 58k stack. I think that's going to be a bit too too much overkill, even for me. Well, especially since the attrition over here is going to be pretty pretty brutal. We're just going to do a half stack. information. You're going to do this. So in fact, I'm going to go ahead and split that up now. I'm going to send the group back with the leaders, say, over here. There we go. Excellent. Various fleet. Oh, because we don't have a lot of sailors, I think, is why our light ships are not currently patrolling the seas. Sailor counts are not great. I guess that's one of the other things I could do is if there's anywhere else, there we go, that can add in some sailors, which is not fantastic, but I guess we'll take it. There we go. Hopefully we don't go into debt from like a random event or something. Magistrate resigns. So I think that event is because we are currently experiencing some... Uh, some slight overextension, just to soup zone. Well, it is actually only slight, but it doesn't matter. As soon as it's over 100%, things are going to be bad. Go here, okay. Economic development, sure, fine. So you're on the move, which is okay. This is the one hostile siege, because we did get some a rebel pop-up, but I think... Is it these? I don't know. We got a rebel pop-up about something, but I assumed it was in our vassal. All right, battle one, that's good. Everything's desieged over here and looking great. What's our income right now? 117 a month? Yeah, so we're sitting on tons of cash. I'm actually surprised that the uh, the colonials didn't just go and uh, pop, pop off over here. So yeah, you have no sailors. Now we don't have to send everyone around next time. Um, Brazilian, Brazilian separatists, okay, but you're gonna get booped. We, uh, with our transport, especially when at peace, we should probably only use the transports just to minimize the sailor burnout. 
Wow, quite a um, quite a patchwork of nations over here on the island. Okay, we've got separatists over here, which actually, do we have anyone covering this area? We do not. Now, I do have some people who are just drilling, but I think what I'm going to do is just this. There you go. You can go and take care of that. It's going to be just as fast as anything else. Um, oh, one of our generals went away. We've got pretender rebels. Or revolutionary ideas removed. Well, I don't want to do... I, I don't want to remove revolutionary ideas. So we'll just do this. And you are carrying, covering that area, so you're going to respond. And take care of that. We're next to a fort and everything, so everything is going to be fine. Same thing over here. These separatists aren't going to spread their separatism because they're next to a fort, which is all right. Oh, there were, I think, three forts that uh, could be upgraded to the topmost building. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Although it takes so long to build them. They may not have even done by the time that anything's relevant. For lack of a cord. Old regime tightly tied to the power of the clergy. Ah, lose some revolutionary zeal. It's interesting, we say we can't betray our ideology, but we're still going to lose some zeal. Persecution of the clergy, tolerance to true faith, minus one. Uh, I want the revolutionary zeal as much as possible. So I'm going to do this. Because actually, the revolutionary zeal, if I recall, is tied into some of our administrative efficiency. So, I mean, I, got, I don't think it matters, because I don't think we can have our zeal high enough to not count as overextended, unfortunately. Galician Separatists, well, that should be covered by the Rebel Stomping over here, because that would be Galicia over there. Okay, good. <sighs> Stupid events are annoying, though. Boy, who left this game in such a state? Uh, okay. It's, it's fun to see Rebels that aren't my Rebels, for a change. So we have 5,000 Sailors at this point. I mean, we could... Lithuania declares war on the Ottomans. Really? Well, Lithuania is pretty big. And the Ottomans have uh, been beaten up a wee bit. I may have had something to do with that. It is just interesting to see, you know, compare that to the start of the game. To see the message that Lithuania would declare war on the Ottomans. I mean, Lithuania is not too shabby at the start, but still. I think that would still be a pretty big ask. Alright, these guys over here aren't doing anything. I'm going to get them uh, drilling, I suppose, because there's no rebels to bust over there. It should be okay. Should I embig in this army? I mean, we're pretty far from our manpower cap, although it is growing quickly. Wait. Runa, that's going to be fine, because you're going to go and bust those guys. Excellent. Military access from Japan. Sure. How you doing, Japan? What's, what's going on over there? You've got Korea. You've got uh, Sakhalin over here, and... <laughs> I'm, it's funny, because I'm just playing some EU or some Hoi 4, right? So, this area over here being owned by Japan, uh, since I'm playing as Russia, feels very bad. Okay, that's being dealt with. That's the only hostile siege actually in our territory. Good. Good, good, good. We've got the, uh, we've got the holiday tunes going on here in Hoi 4, or EU 4. I don't know if there's, like, a... I mean, it's fine, I guess, to have the, the, the what does it call it? Oh, it's called some, like, PDS Xmas or something. It does take me a little bit out of the vibe. Like, I always appreciate it. Like, oh, it's kind of cute, you know, having seasonal kind of music. But it does take me out of the Hoi, the U4 vibe. I keep saying Hoi because I've been playing it that, I guess, more recently with the streams. Okay, a bunch of truces are expiring. What we're going to do here is we are not going to start any wars. If they want to fire off a coalition war, so be it. I mean, I definitely... Okay, so there's the advantage of starting a war is to cycle the truce timer so they don't all simultaneously coalition us um, all in one big go. Because that is pretty scary. Um, on the other hand, we are super duper overextended right now. Our troops are definitely a little bit busy at home. Some more people leaves the court. We got some rebel sentiment. Grr. I guess the other thing is if I found myself in a war against someone who's got... Um, well, none of these are going to be helpful. Let's go for you for a plus three. Um... If, if I went in war against someone who's got, like, cores on the territory I'm trying to core, then it freezes that, which would be really annoying. Air! Come on! And actually, we probably don't have any troops monitoring this area at all. Because these guys here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to boat them down to there. Um, boat them down to there. Perfect. You're going to get taken. 
taken care of. That's good. I guess my ships are still one giant fleet. I still haven't split off the transports. I should just do that now. That's the wrong one. Okay. And you guys are going to boot to cover this area over here. Go, go. Yeah, give them some money. Who cares? I think they're not moving right now because they don't have the morale, even though they'd have it by the time they got there. Oh my god, a ton of corn just finished. Thank you. Whoop! Okay, pause, 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 pause. Okay, do this. Start some conversions. Well, hold on a sec. Because that might be some colonial stuff. So, new colonial nation. I have not played since these buttons were added in. Crown Colony, high amount of direct control from the Overlord, contribute a good amount of money to ma and manpower. Um, okay. Private Enterprises, focus on getting extra monetary value out of land, bring that home. So, less less troops, more money. Self-governing colony. They're going to be high with this. Oh, they will have a higher Liberty Desire, but will be able to expand and develop faster. Well, I don't think the Liberty Desire is going to matter. And, uh, I'm going to call you Crozil. Let's do this. Self-governing govern self-governing colony makes the most sense, I would say, with our um, our Republican, our revolutionary government. So we're gonna do this. I mean, you know, obviously they're still need need some hand holding, sure, but with a decent amount of independence. Okay, let's do those to start with. Then uh, we've got more ideas. Oh, I can finish influence ideas. Vassal force limit contribution goes up. Unjustified demands goes down. Okay. Um, speaking of vassals, so we are still working to integrate Denmark, although I don't think it's going to happen before the end of things. Uh, oh, these are all the trade zones. Papal States hits me. Hate me. Switzerland surprisingly doesn't super duper want to be Liberty Desire. I mean, they still hate me overall. I forgot that we vassalize these guys. Oh, we march. Did they choose to do it? Was that a decision they made? I feel like something like that happened. It's been a while, though. But I'm pretty sure something like that was the case. Yeah, we're not gonna, never going to integrate Denmark, but one can imagine at some point, way in the future, do that. Although, again, integrating them maybe is against revolutionary ideas, but who cares about that? More conversions. Go, go. How's our Diplo rep? I guess we have to look at ourselves. Minus one. Yeah, we still have the annex subjects going on. United in prayer. Well, this will make Krasil like us more, which doesn't seem like a terrible thing right now. I'm going to automate one of my diplomats to work on my subjects over here as much as is possible, which in a lot of them is going to be hard, but we'll see. Okay, the air separatists are still doing things, but I was going to say our army should be down here, right? Yes, down there, kicking ass, good. Oh, yeah, and I forgot our fleet called transports is not actually our transports. Done. Alright, you're done. You're going to desiege that. Then you'll go back over here. It's possible no one wants to trigger the coalition. I mean, we still have a truce with a bunch of people. Ooh, hello. Textile mills of Bologna. For base production. All right. Um, so, yeah, we still have truces with a bunch of people. Now, at some point, those will expire, and they will all join the coalition. So, we're going to let them and see if they have the guts to do it. Okay, England's no longer a valid thing, and it's not giving me a pop-up for the rivals. So England's got to go and boost their strength slightly again to be a valid one. We'll get a pop-up. But literally no one in the world is our rival right now. Which, I agree. So we have double the points of the next um, greatest power. Oh, we lost an admiral. That's going to have to be okay. Conversions, conversions. Some people want access rights. Sure, 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 sure. Everything's under control in Krasil. Um, actually, we probably don't have to babysit these guys anymore. The unrest? I mean, maybe it'll come back, because some of it is just because they, they popped off here. I think, no, they're going to be fine. I can bring these troops home. Which I will do. We can park them over there. So 
we know that's a decent supply location. And so those only be the actual transports doing that. We do have enough sailors available right now. We really could go and at the very least we should probably start our trade once more. And just group everything up over here. Split off the light ships. Split you in half. 1992, 70%. Still lower in Ragusa than one might like. You need to have 25 development. You know what? Sure, we're ahead of time on all of our techs, and we don't have a sink for our admin power. Okay, we're not ahead on um, admin, but that's okay. I guess 25 is pretty expensive, but... There we go. Done. Done. That's just going to feel good, if nothing else. Revolution is fully present here. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know where I'm going to send my ships. I guess we're probably going to send them over here. First, we're going to send some to the Gulf of Aden. And then I kind of feel like it might be worth doing Cormandel. Or Gujarat. Maybe Gujarat. Okay, we're not going to care too much. It's not like we're not sitting on infinite money. But a token effort will be made. Ottomans are training some new troops. Well, good for them. Are we still trading in slaves? I thought we'd outlawed slavery. Did it just say we lost trading in slavery? But we, that should have been a million years ago, right? Uh, yeah, because I think it would show up in here if we could still abolish. Oh! We're an entrepreneur. Lose money. Yeah, whatever. What's money? Uh, approach Bohemia to seek better relations. We have no need for relations with them. Not that we really need the prestige. But what the hell, right? We really don't need anyone else in the world. We've got air. We've got air. Wow, Savoy. HRE, good for them. Um, we're not going to be in a position to make Rome, but that was okay. I decided a while ago that I wasn't going to necessarily do that. Uh, what's the deal with your family? Trade power or trader. We'll just take trade power. It's fine. Although I suppose a trader would have been kind of nice. What's our income per month right now? 352. Well, all right. Now that we're no longer overextended. Are we literally zero? Did everything core up? Yeah, everything cored up. Um, admin power or prestige? Well, we'll take the admin power. Well, there's more revolutionary people. How's the religion map mode looking? Good. Is there a revolutionary map mode? There might be. Ugh. I don't care about the peasants, but the devastation's kind of annoying. Here, we'll take negotiate. It's going to be fine. Um, what would that be under? Political? Revolution. So, I mean, most of this is us. Some of it is Portugal. There's not much going on, although there's some revolution spreading in places. All right. Kind of surprised no one started a war with us. But, I mean, I guess not that surprised. They're, they're got to be terrified. At some point, I mean, we're no longer overextended, and we do have a lot of manpower. Starting to get that itch. Now, we can't declare war on Castile or Portugal. Like, not with the free CV, because they're revolutionaries. And with France, they're also revolutionary. Yeah, and we have the truce there. I mean, we could go after Poland or Galicia or this or that, but... You know what? I think I'm fine with just uh, letting the game cruise. If they declare war on us, they declare war on us. Colonial independence. Oh, independence supported. Well, there we go. That was one of the wars that was going to start. Boom, boom, boom. So, we are in a war against England because we are supporting the independence of their colonies. Now, the thing is, England's not that big and scary. The war fleet... First fleet here is our transports. Yeah, okay. So first of all, let's get those two merged up. Um, I'll merge them up over here. And we're just going to start ferrying troops into England. Just to help out with the independence of these colonies. Because we're, we're decent people like that. We can bring groups of two at a time. There's a lot of dudes. Um, the plan I'm going to have is I'm going to land them 
I'm going to land troops in Ireland, one after another. Uh, and then we'll be able to maybe do the straight crossing. Actually, we probably could. Um, we'll do the, the straight crossing to there, but nothing else. We're going to keep everyone together. We're going to keep this ruler for now. We're going to lose some Republican tradition, but that's going to be okay. And we are going to tech, yes, over here. Well, tech, which is the one thing we weren't ahead on. I don't think England's got much of a navy these days. 318 ships total. So that includes all their transports, all their lights. Now, they're probably not going to have galleys like I do. But we probably are still okay. Although, what we don't have is an admiral, which I can't recruit because we're adjacent to enemy territory. So that's a little bit less than great. The dis or, um, unload these guys. Disembark these guys. Okay, good. Come over here. We're going to be picking up these guys next. But also, because we're away... Uh... Oh, I don't have enough points, do I? Ha! That's the other reason I can't do it. Okay. Well, we had a little bit of attrition. Let's let a month tick over. Excellent. And what I'm going to do is land you... Let's land you in Cork. Because at least then you'll claim that territory instantly and giving support. Although everything else is sieging pretty fast too. I think these are really low-level forts. Recall you. That's fine. Um, that is pretty far ahead of time. We're not quite capped on admin. So we can wait for maybe a few more discounts. Maybe something will happen and we'll want to spend it on stability. I don't know. Here, please. So actually, I'm gonna detach the minimum siege. You're gonna go over to Limerick. Oh, I've been rivaled! Although since I'm at war, I can't assign a rival. Um, let me just recruit another general here. Oh, you're already done. Well, you can't go too far because of that. All right. More jump. Yeah, this is, it's still gonna go really fast. Um, how dangerous is this looking? Not too bad. Although, oh, let's get our Admiral first. I'm wondering about diving in there. Actually, maybe I should, I do have a, um, a ship full of troops though. Anyway, land in Desmond. Just to drop off the troops and break off the transports as well. We do have the galleys. They don't fight very well. But that's going to have to be okay. Um, what are the numbers? Although a bunch of these guys... There's a ton of transports in this. But they do have a lot of heavies. Um, I guess they have more heavies. They have the lights to help out. And I mean, they have their English ideas. Yeah, maybe, maybe I don't want to do that. Now, if some of them split up like this, though... Well, actually, come here. And help with the siege tick. That's what we want. Military leader has left us. Okay. Speaking of, you don't have one. What I'm going to do is just yoink someone. Yoink number two. There we go. So I'm yoinking them from, from places where we're not actually... Um... Sorry. Where we're not actually fighting. back here again. Now we're going to start dropping some guys off into, let's say, Cornwall. Oh, these guys are docked here. Hold on. Let's bring them anyway. But yeah, we're going to be ready for some action here. Because we want to we want to take a position in the IRC so we can cross the strait. There's some ships over there. Hopefully we can catch just part of them. And then rush across the IRC strait. Okay, center information. Good, sure, fine. Uh-huh. Okay. 
All right, good. Two in here. We're gonna hit a small fleet first, which is nice. Yeah, okay, everyone shop over here. Good. Stay in the Irish Sea. Everyone move across. Retake Ayrshire, very important. Meanwhile, we can turn on some carpet siege behavior over here. Because I think most of their troops are in the north, and we are going to try to... Oh, because of that fort there in Dumfries. Who's got siege pips here? None of them. All right. And you go there. And keep the ships here so that we can get the blockade bonus. many troops. Let's just go for the assault immediately. We really need this to drop as quickly as possible. Lovely. Um, because that gives us the ability to move up and actually attack some of these guys. Or limit them to these islands? I wonder if we can just pin them in there. Yeah, these guys are all stuck on these islands now. Oh, uh, no, because now they control everything. Um, hmm. Well, I could still do something maybe a little like this and force them, if they want off the island, they're going to have to start the attack into me. I didn't realize they could reach Argyle. But they're going to change their mind anyway. So, I think their troops are semi-pinned over here. I don't need to keep my ships here, although I may want to. Um, I may want to just because if I decide to move and attack onto one of these islands. Now, I mean, we'd start with the combat penalty, but we could potentially attack one of these smaller stacks. The other thing I could do is split off just my transports. But I think what we'll do is we'll grab you. Let me give you the four siege pip guy. And I'm going to make you go specifically to, Ing or to London here. Okay, so now that we control this, now they can't get off these islands because of my ships, right? If they control both sides, they could, but now they don't, so they cannot. So we're going to do some carpet sieging there. Okay, they have some troops, but all right. And... You're not... Well, maybe you can't go because of the fort's in the way. All right, let's just go here and go here, and we'll make sure you are desieging that, and then we'll reissue the commands. Okay. There you go. You're sieging out London, and then we'll put you on carpet siege again. Ceremony disrupted. There you go. A little something like that. I don't think there's even any forts in the area I click, because there's one over here in uh, Mont Montgomery. Diplomatic power. It's nice to get free points. We really don't need them, but it is nice. Yeah, England is definitely getting trounced here. So I think we're going to have an independent nation out there. And I can't remember um, what the implications are in terms of uh, diplomatic relations for people we supported. So we got a bonus to our siege ability, which increases the speed of our siege ticks, which is incredibly valuable. I, I believe that's what it does. I'm pretty sure that's what it does. We are about to be capped on admin, so... All right, we'll go ahead and spend it. And, I mean, I could separate Peace England here. Which would allow me to maybe take some territory and things. I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna leave it. Because then the independence war might not work out. So you'll go there. You'll go there. Then you'll go over there. Some of these are going to be busier than others. Oh, they're going to retake over there. We actually might want to explicitly go and smack them around a bit here. 
you come down here. These guys, easy. Okay. All right, 64% war score. I love that these guys are just stuck completely. That's really funny. People states, Crozil does have a pretty high liberty desire, which is a bit disappointing. I thought that would have been a little bit more cool. I know the type of government we gave them is a little bit more on a cranky side. Um... Yeah, they have all those revolutionary ideas. There's something I can do with them. I could change their colonial type, customize them, decrease tariffs, increase tariffs, modify subject relationship. Oh, there we go. Here. Can I do more than that? There you go. They're no longer cranky. And you know what? We're always sitting on a million prestige. We're going to placate them a little. Just to give them a bit more of a buffer. And then hopefully over time our relationship will improve. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and spend more of our diplomats improving relationship with our subjects. Um, and I could leave these guys leave the island so that we can kill them. I mean, they are getting attrition, which is pretty good. Uh, but then we could also... It would mean being able to hunt down their navy. But I don't think I'm going to care that much. Well, I guess at some point I might have to do it just because. Um, otherwise, I mean, my troops are going to sit around. We're going to get attrition. These guys are going to get ejected. I'm going to want to move my sh my troops out of here, which means moving my navy. Oh, paid off. Oh, there you go. Foreign war is over. Hang on, I want to see the proper. All right, England has accepted peace with their former enemies, English Brazil. England will grant independence to English Brazil, English Colombia, and English Mexico. England will cede Northumberland, Scarborough, and Rocks... Roxburghshire? Roxburghshire? Hmm. To revolutionary Croatia. Oh, all right. Cool. Ended up with more territory out of this, which I wasn't expecting. There we go. See, it's, I guess it's not... It's good to be nice sometimes. I can rival Ming, so I will do so. Um, I will leave an army up over here. What's the supply? Oh, they're not bad in a lot of these places. Uh, oh, well, Ayrshire is a 70. Perfect. You can go there for some rebel busting, which is going to be groovy. And then the rest of y'all, we're going to uh, ship out of here. I can actually put, ship a lot of dudes simultaneously, but I guess to limit attrition, I'm only going to do a little bit at a time. So we'll send you to Bordeaux. Yeah, the English are going to be allowed off their little mm. islands. Well out of the uh, the Hebrides and whatnot. It's not their islands, but the islands where they, they were sitting. Okay, done. So you... What I'm going to do is I'm going to set no leader because you don't need one for rebel stomping. And then it might make things a little bit more clear. Um, things are pretty stable over here. It's mostly about rebel busting the new land we took from the English. Probably going to want to upgrade those... Um, these forts as well. And there's some overlap. I could even consider moving the fort from here to Scarborough. Just because Roxburghshire is already covered by Dumfries. I think I like that idea. I'm going to destroy that castle. We may build one in Scarborough after. We can't do it while it's coring. And we may have to clear out some other buildings as well. But we'll deal with that when we get there. Okay, so you are going to come over. And you're going to be doing the west coast of Iberia. Or potentially all of Iberia. Just, just be ready for some rebel stomping. 1786. And time for another cut. It's funny, we didn't initiate anything, and yet things went pretty well here. We got some exciting times, stuff we're happy with. You're going to go there. You can go back to Zagreb. Pull some more troops out here. You are on Rebel Stomping. Lovely. Yeah, and I mean, we're hardly overextended. Um, it's not really going to do anything. Well, coalition-wise, I suppose it means we have a truce with England now, which might dissuade the coalition from triggering because otherwise England probably would go in. I assume ah, I assume incorrectly. They actually did not have much aggressive expansion. They're over 50 now. We rule the waves. Oh, awesome. Um, they're over 50 now because of the land that was given to us. Although that's going to go below 50 by the time the truce expires. So yeah, they were never going to join the coalition. Cheers. 
38% integrating Denmark. Is it possible that we are no longer... No, we still have the Annex Nations. Okay, and then we have the overextension as well, which doesn't help. All right, ships are chilling over here. We did burn through some more sailors doing all the sieging. Oh, no longer transfer trade. That's okay. All right, well, I guess we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.